Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to plot the involute of a plot the, plot the loci of an involute. What's an involute? An involute of a circle is a path traced by the free end of a thread as it is unwanted from the circle. The first step to draw the involute is to establish a horizontal and a vertical datum line. So for that, I'll change my construct my center line layer. Engage orthogonal mode. Line, draw line L, enter. Space bar to reactivate line command. Enter. My next step is to grip and move this to the center point. Now, my next step is to draw the circle that we wish to undo, um, unwind. The circle has a radius of 30 millimeters. For that, I go to construction line, circle, specify the center point, which is here. Radius of 30, three, three, zero, enter. Uh, next up is to draw a line. Uh, this line should be, she has, she has a length equivalent to the circumference of a circle. And uh, to determine that we multiply pi by diameter or pi diameter to the generate the circumference. That should give us a total of one, 88 point something. I round this off at 190. So for that, we engage line. L, enter. L, enter for line. From here, draw line 190, 190. Well, let's make it 190, enter. Enter. No, I intend to move. I want to move everything over here into my existing box. Select M, enter. Click anywhere, move, escape. My next step is to divide the circle. Is to you is to is to draw a line. Draw a line. Draw a line here. Here. There. And uh, I'm using a length of probably um, 20, 20, 20 is good. Enter. Escape. Well, I think I probably should use X line. Use poly, use, I think I should use poly line here. So I'm deleting that. Delete. Because my objective is to, is to um, use polar array to rotate this and then extend the side. So for that, I'm going to um, click polyline. And for that, I start at the center point here, there. And uh, let this length be about 20, 20 to zero, enter, escape. My next step is to highlight this and uh, rotate it. And, and uh, create a, an array. Uh, in this case, I want eight. I want eight, eight um, eight uh, sections, eight pieces. So for that, I type A R. Enter. Enter. I click polar array. It allows me to specify the bit, the, the center. I click here for the center. Here it will give me six, but I want eight. So to do that, go up by items, change the six to eight, uh, enter or tab and no, I have eight, no, I have eight, one, two, three, four, no, I have eight equal, equal space section. My next step is to divide this line into eight equal parts. So for that, I type div for divide, div, enter. Select object to be divided, click to highlight, then enter. Number of segments I want in this case is eight. 
as I have divided the circle into eight equal parts. My next step is to is to that is to number these. First step is to change to my dimension for my text layer. Select single line text. Specify my starting point. Text height, I think five should be good. Five, enter. Rotation angle of zero, enter to accept. Here I have one, point two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. In like manner, I this is zero. Here would be one, one. No, one should start here, as, as um. Well, zero. Um, all right. If this was to un unwind uh, the pattern here, let's unwind like that. Um, all right. Let us be one. Let us be one. This point is two point three point four five six seven and here would have been our, our eight point eight point would end up right here click outside escape the next step is to expl okay, explore this x array x enter when i to, uh, to be able to manipulate this we need to explore this all right no um we need to extend these lines like one the distance here one here should be the length of this line um, so i'm gonna take a distance here measurement here to see the length of this and the length of this is distance length from here to that point is 24. so this the line should increase by 24 each time all right so the first one number one should be 24. know that we have drawn these points we have generated these the next step is to draw each of these lines with length equivalent to the distance of zero to one this length should be that from uh this uh from zero to two whatever that distance is we should ensure that this line is the same length from zero to three we'll lengthen three to that length from zero to four we'll lengthen number four to that length and five etc all the way around first we need to explode these polyline It explored all of these so far. So first we highlight them, then type X, enter, and now they, they're exploded. The next step is to use a command which you call Lenten. What Lenten does, Lenten allows us to draw lines at a specific length or to adjust, either reduce or enlarge the line to a specific length, total length. So for that, uh, Let's establish this distance. Put distance from here to here. That is 24, 48, 72, 95, 119, 143, 166. All right. Escape. So the first first distance here is um 24. So this goes up by tw approximately 24 millimeters each time. So uh, for that we type L E N for length. Enter. Select select um total one total length in this case. Uh, then enter 24 
two, four, enter. Select object length, that, escape. So the length of this has changed from what it was to 24. Next step is to move on to number two, space bar to reactivate length. Again, we select total, enter to accept total. In this case, we want to be 48, 24 plus 24, 48, 4, 8, enter. Select this line, and that is that. Uh, our next step is to activate spacebar, spacebar again to accept that. In this case, we add we add um 24 to 48, that gives us 72. So this new length becomes 72. Enter. Select object length. Uh, this and that is that. Space bar to end. Space bar to reactivate. Space bar to activate total. When we add 24 to 72, we get 96. So this or our new length now is 96. 96. Enter. Again, we select the end of this. So that is, oh, I think it's the wrong one. I entered a while, touched a while ago. Um, and space bar to reactivate, space bar again. 96 plus 25 is 120. One, two, zero, enter. Then we click here for that. Space bar to end, space bar to reactivate. Space bar to accept total. So 120 plus 24 is 144. 144. Enter. We click here for that. Space bar to end. Space bar to reactivate. Space bar to accept total. Here we add 24 to 144. That gives us 168. Our new length is one six eight. Enter, and we touch here to accept that. All right. Escape. I think this one is a bit too long. Uh, number three. Number three should be seventy two. So again, we go space bar to reactivate. Space bar to accept total. Uh, then in this case, I want to enter 72, 72, enter, click here, and that's it. It is recommended that you work out these first, work out um, the length, the length for each of them, so it, make, it saves time and prevents some error. All right. Once you have done that, the next step is to, is to um, plot the loci. For that, we use spline, S P L, enter. Ensure that orthogonal mode is deactivated. We deactivate that. Change to the outline layer. Outline layer in that case. Next, specify the start point, which is here. Click this point. Next point. Next end point. Next endpoint, this endpoint, next endpoint, that endpoint, and then we click the final one. I like to extend this a little bit beyond the point, click, then enter. What that does, that creates a smoother curve. Then I trim, but that I type TR, enter once, Select here as my cutting edge, enter, then touch the section, which I don't want, escape. And that is, that, that, is, that is it. That's how we draw the involute of a circle.